Even before knowing who'll win the mysterious and endless fight between good and evil, it's necessary to understand who the good guys are. And what's more, if they even exist. Some say holy souls have inhabited this world for many years, but if they've been elected by those who've burned and tortured their kin for centuries, who really are the good guys? And who are the bad guys? For the avoidance of doubt, I traveled around the world looking for some of these good guys. Because war's out there. And we must unite in order to defend ourselves. But there are too many armies. Generals. Tyrants. The Red Army in 1941 was formed by 34 million soldiers. I only needed seven friends. But they didn't find me. I had to find them. Out! Michael! Cats are not allowed at rehearsals. He stays. He inspires me. And besides, Jumbo's also here. Oh, but Jumbo is like us. Human, almost. Au contraire, dogs are better than humans. Just because he's as fat as Plogo doesn't mean he's human. They all may stay. Let's begin. Cabra. As you know, the next victim is Bruce Phoenix, president and operational director of Modro Corporation, an American multinational that turns over billions of dollars every year, among the main players behind the deforestation of the Amazon. Illegal trafficking, logging, murder of indigenous natives, and our whole ecosystem goes to shit. But there are many corporations behind this. Modro is the biggest. Whoever fills a position like this must be damaged, but not irreversibly. Oh, let's just make life easy for him and just cut his head off. That's not what we do, Jack. Not in this company. Our goal is to help him understand his ways, hoping he takes the right path. Mm, I think that when you're an asshole, you're an asshole, and that's that. The world is not split between good guys and bad guys. It's all in our mind and in the actions we take. The choices we make depend upon our level of consciousness. That's why we've created these shows. That's why we enter their dreams. I think we should set it in one of those giant boardrooms in a Wall Street skyscraper. We could be members of the board, all suited up. Not the board of Modro Corporation. He would know we weren't real. Yes, and we can't set the show in his usual workplace. We need to take him as far as possible from his comfort zone. I know. We'll set it in the Amazon. We'll dress him up as an indigenous person and we'll be federal officers. We'll hang him upside down and torture him. He'll soil himself and when he wakes up, he will have changed his mind. It, <laughs> it doesn't work like that, Capra. Due to post-hypnotic amnesia, our victims forget everything they lived through in their dreams. What they see during the show remains in their subconscious. And that's where we hope something happens. You don't get results with terror. People like him don't deserve free therapy. Let's at least present him with the bill at the end. He's so bloody rich. But we're not doing it for them. We're doing it for all of us. Oh, then we should take him to Miami, where you can dance on the beach till morning. Let him relax a little. And I get tired of doing the same script. Oh, but we'd save time. We could reuse the set I designed for Fred Kinski. Who was Fred Kinski? Oh, the organ trafficker, remember? Unfortunately, the show didn't work that time. I am the director of the Cider Company. Rusalka, Cabra, start thinking about some Latin tunes, something energetic. What about this? Keep it going. This music is so inspiring. I see a dance club on Ocean Drive, the heart of Miami nightlife. Rusalka is on stage with her band while Cabra is singing. Cabra, you should do America's Got the Talent. <laughs> Fogo, please. It was funny. Now, Gary, hmm? I would like a set that is chic but also warm uh, uh, and a massive bar. Plogo, we need the sounds of a dance floor and some atmospheric lighting. We will need some extras, too. Oh, how can you make them appear? During a Nairic hypnosis, I just need to think about all the people that I've met in my life. Oh. The ones I remember. And in that moment, I can manage to show them to you and to the target. Oh, what happens if someone talks to these people? I'm directing them. I place them at my will. Oh. Alone, in a group, or in a couple. Mm. So they'll be dancing, 
flirting while sipping a drink. Some will be tipsy, another having a brawl. I've done it many times in the past. Ooh. Can I have sex with an extra? Of course. But actually, you'd be having sex with me. Mentally. Not that I mind. I would mind. Nobody touches my lovely Yankee. And you, Gary, hmm? stop picturing yourself getting laid by holograms. Uh, well, what happens in a dream isn't cheating, in theory. Uh, this rule does not apply to Vlad the Vamp's shows. Who says? The director herself. That is, me. So, if you don't want to be cleaning toilets in the next dream, stop it now. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. this time I will be vamp. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to think of a red dress for me. Okay. Make it flashy. Maybe a long satin ankle length dress with décolletage? No décolletage. A round neck will be fine. Uh, keep the décolletage for Penan. She will be the waitress. Uh, why do I always have to be the waitress? Ugh. Because you have big boobs and you look like you take orders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I concur, especially the boobs. Tell me, Plogo, do you only open your mouth to eat or speak shit? <laughs> hey, Vlad, why do you want to look like Vamp? Is this Phoenix a bit of a Don Juan? I don't know. I can only read their mind when the show begins, only when we're inside. Until then, the only things I know are what Cabra reports. The indispensable Cabra, you mean? <sighs> I'll be sitting at a table near Bruce Phoenix. I'll make sure he invites me over for a drink. Then, I'll start analyzing. Did Phoenix fall asleep? Yes. Pass me his hair. I have contact. Now, concentrate and let's hold hands. It's about to begin. Put that lady's drink on my tab, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You don't look like you're from around here. I don't know where I am, so I can't answer. But if you want, you can sit at my table. Thanks. So you're sitting here, but you don't know where you are? Exactly. Sometimes it's good to get lost. Forget your plans, discover a reality. Not for me, my job doesn't allow for mistakes. Are you some sort of surgeon? President of a large corporation, and you? No. What do you do, ma'am? I'm a psychologist. <laughs> Waitress! Hmm? Another Bloody Mary for, uh... I don't even know your name. My name's Vamp. You have character. I should consider hiring you. Tracy and Sophie aren't enough. How do you know the names of my secretaries? Who are you? I'm whoever I tell you I am. But we're all in a dream. Here we can reveal all our secrets, do everything we want. Bruce? It's me. Your father. Dad? What are you doing here? I've come to get you after your game. But you never come. I was at work. And then I thought I'd come. How did it go? Did you win? Yeah. I I've hit so many home runs. That's not true. N no, sir. I, I swear. It is. I'm Dad, Bruce. Not Sir. Yeah, and I was at the game. I saw you lost. But why does it matter? You did your best. That's what matters. I will come see your games whenever I can. And even when I can't be there, I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> this is the best day of my life, Dad. Remember, champ, you don't need to be the best to be loved. You just need to be yourself, all the time. To listen to your inner voice, the one that guides you to do the right thing. Bruce, only you and I are left. And now you will wake up and your conscience will speak to your actions. You will know that you are loved, and you will listen to your inner voice. You will remember nothing of this dream, nor of the characters you met. But you will feel light, as if freed from a weight on your shoulders, the size of which didn't allow you to see until now. I... I want to see you again, Vamp. You can't. Why? Because I am actually a vampire. Ha! <laughs> a vampiress! <laughs> so scary! I mean it. Look at my teeth, and at my nails. Uh, oh my... I am Vlad. Vlad the Vamp. I haven't had a job or a home since I come back from...